Hey gang, in this video, we're going to talk about the Network Plus versus the CCNA and which one you should get. Hey gang, it's Ron from ITMasterKey.com, and my job is to help each and every one of you guys get certified. So hopefully you're having a really good day. If you're not, cheer up. You're alive. You're breathing. Nothing to complain about. So the Network Plus and the CCNA, if you've been thinking about getting a network certification, I'm pretty sure that one of these two, if not both, have come across your mind, come across your desk, you've heard about them, and you're just not quite sure which one to go after. So to be honest, Network Plus and CCNA are both valuable. They both can add value to your resume, to your portfolio, and to your skill set. So they are two different certifications, and I think they kind of pertain to two different levels as well. So the Network Plus, I would say, is geared towards anybody that wants a, a basic understanding of network infrastructure and stuff like that. Now, I believe that the CCNA, although it is touted to be a entry level certification, I think it has a higher degree of uh, expertise and knowledge, if that makes sense. So if it was somebody with no experience no nothing, I would gear them towards Network Plus. And if it was somebody with more experience, I would gear them towards CCNA. So do you have to have experience to pass CCNA? No, I had plenty of students, even when I was teaching CCNA, that passed CCNA without the experience. But I will say that most employers view these different. Now, if you have Network Plus and don't have that much experience, so, okay, we'll go ahead and train this guy up. But if you have CCNA, it kind of comes with an expectation that you will have the hands-on experience and you'll actually be able to go ahead and start rocking out on your own, right? So the Network Plus, it provides a wide range of networking methods and applications. And I think it's best suited for people just starting out and networking. Now, to me, the Cisco is more for people that already have the Network Plus, already may have some networking experience, and they just want to actually have that certification, that piece of paper to enhance their skill set and to actually expand their employment opportunities. So the Network Plus, let's talk about that for a minute. So the Network Plus certifies the technical abilities required to secure, construct, manage, and troubleshoot the critical networking components in an organization. So CompTIA, unlike Cisco, is not vendor specific. So it goes across a myriad of different devices and stuff like that, where Cisco is vendor specific. Good news is Cisco is one of the biggest networking companies in the world. So you won't be discounted there at all. So the Network Plus offers a variety of flexible training choices. You can self-study. You can do live training with me. You can do self-paced training with me. You can do things on your own. You can make home labs. There's a lot of different avenues to get trained in Network Plus. So the Network Plus, I would say, is an entry certification, while the Cisco, I would say, is entry creeping into mid-level. Okay. Now, what I found is that if you're looking and leaning towards the Network Plus, what makes it a little bit easier and what CompTIA actually recommends is that you have 18 months of practical experience or and already have the A plus certification to make the Network Plus a little bit easier. So what I tell my guys and my girls in the winter circle and in the Zero to IT Hero program is that they got to get A plus first. I found that when students go after A plus and obtain it, it makes Network Plus so much easier, so much easier. So I think we kind of covered Network Plus good enough. So let's go ahead and hop into CCNA. Now, if you are listening to the podcast, I appreciate it. Make sure you like and you share it with anybody who can benefit. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you like the video and share it with anybody who can benefit. So the CCNA or the Cisco Certified Network Associate assesses the knowledge and abilities required of a network specialist to install, configure, and manage medium-sized networks. Now the CCNA is one of the most sought-after IT certifications. I would say 
as far as popularity or what's a what's a what's a better word than popularity? Come on, dictionary in my head. What's a better word than popularity? I would say the mystique or the way it's looked at. The network plus in the eyes of employers, I would say probably holds a higher value than network plus only for networking jobs. Now, if you have a network plus and security plus or a network plus and a plus, I think it would edge out a Cisco. But for a network specific job, CCNA probably would edge out network plus. So as far as networking goes, it's kind of like one and two, right? So you got CCNA and then network plus probably coming in at a close second. So Cisco certified workers are expected to be able to handle Cisco networking equipment in small, medium, even large businesses. The CCNA is intended for IT professionals who want to further their profession as network technicians and engineers by learning skills that can be applied to a wide range of Cisco networking equipment. Now, the Cisco vendor has levels and tiers as well, just like the CompTIA certifications do. So there's certain certifications that you can get before that will make it a little bit easier. And then certain certifications that you can get after to actually add to the actual exam itself. Now, let's talk about which one should you do? So that depends. You can kind of use the information that I've given you. Now, me for one, I've been certified, Network Plus certified and Cisco CCNA certified. I've taught both. Me personally, I steer my students towards Network Plus just because the program that we have that's given students the most success is CompTIA centric. So the students, after they get finished, they have uh, three certifications, uh, A plus, then Network Plus, which is for networking, and then Security Plus, which is for cybersecurity. But those three certifications I've seen the most transformations I've seen students be able to level up in all areas as far as promotions, getting jobs, and their salary increasing. So as far as which one you should get, it's literally completely up to you. And this is kind of just information. So hopefully this gave you some insight on what you need to do. But either one you choose, you wouldn't lose, right? It's not like, oh, damn, I got Network Plus. I suck. Or damn, I got CCNA. Either one of these are going to set you on a trajectory to improve what you got going on. Because networking, the internet is vital. It's almost like a necessity nowadays. Every business, every school, every political organization depends on the internet to keep working. And that's what the Network Plus and the CCNA actually do to provide you the ability to set up a network, maintain it and secure it. So this video is about CCNA versus the Network Plus. Now, let's talk about you versus you. You are probably your biggest obstacle when it gets to getting certified and getting stuff done. So if you're looking for training, make sure you get out of your own way. Go to itmaskey.com and sign up for one or two programs, whichever one fits your needs. Other than that, hopefully this gave you great value and I'll see you in class.